I have to figure out how the hell I'm gonna fit all of this into here. So we did it. We somehow managed to get all of that in there with some room to spare. All right, so I feel like that hard transition uh, needs a little explanation. So we loaded up the Supra. Uh, this year, Pack Northwest Nationals was down in Vancouver, Washington, which is approximately about a six hour drive from where I live in Spokane. Drive down went pretty well. We made great time. Uh, the only unfortunate thing is it ended up being like 105 that weekend in the middle of the state. With the Supra being full race car status, no AC, it ended up being quite an unpleasant drive. On top of that, we stopped to get gas in Biggs Junction uh, and the car wouldn't start. Fortunately, I had cables with me and a bunch of tools, and uh, some guys gave us a jump. It fired right up. So now I actually think the issue is my starter. Anytime it doesn't have a really, really strong uh, voltage on the battery or it, it gets hot, it just doesn't want to work. So we're going to have to pull that and probably look at the contacts and maybe rebuild the thing. So unfortunately, I had my wife filming on the GoPro pretty much all weekend, and all that footage got lost. So I don't have a lot of the behind-the-scenes stuff other than when I was shooting cars with the camera in my hand. So this footage we're jumping to is the first day of Pac Northwest Super Nationals 2020. So today we cruised all the way out to Tillamook and then now we're heading up the coast to Cannon Beach. So if you've ever driven up the Oregon coast, you know that it is absolutely gorgeous. We cruised for probably about four and a half hours that day, and it was just fantastic. We had a line of Supras in front and behind us, the ocean off to our left, beautiful forest to our right on one of the coolest roads probably in the country. Unfortunately, all of that footage was shot on my GoPro because I was driving, so we lost all of it. So just imagine we have all that super gorgeous footage in here and you know, imagine what it looked like. had exactly one good run in it. That's all we're getting. So the clutch that's in the car has been problematic for a while. Uh, it's an RC twin plate. The car made like 11 horsepower more than the clutch was actually rated for and it's held it for a long time so it did pretty well. Uh, but one day we were out ripping around. I had Josh in the front seat who you all know is not a small dude. Had another brother-in-law in the back seat and uh, the clutch started slipping in fourth gear. But it was only when it had you know, two other people in the car and in like fourth gear where it was really loaded up. Pretty soon I noticed it was slipping with just me and a passenger. So I decided to back off the boost. It was set up at uh, 18 or 19 pounds, depending on the gear. And I backed it all the way down to 14. So that should have been well over a hundred horsepower drop. I haven't really been in a good position where I wanted to take the car apart to throw a clutch in it or uh, throw those funds at it right now. So when we went to PIR, I really, I was kind of anticipating it was gonna murder the clutch. So I figured we'd make a really soft starter pass uh, deal with the car bogging a bit and just let it catch up on boost on the long end and uh, see what it could do. And then in subsequent runs, we just launch it a little harder every time until we found that limit. Keep in mind that in the back of my head, I knew that I had to drive that car around all the next day and six hours home that following night. So I needed it to stay in one piece a little bit. Next run, I decide I'm still gonna go really easy on it, but launch slightly harder, maybe up around 2,000 RPMs. It's kind of hard to hear what's going on because we have this truck in the near lane, and unfortunately, I lost the in-car GoPro footage that told a lot better story of what was going on with the car. Anyways, it launched completely fine at 2,000 RPMs. Uh, still not enough to really take off off the line. The car bogs a little bit, but not nearly as bad. 
Uh, rip through first, go to grab second. As soon as it makes boost, I'm just instantly on the limiter. Uh, you'll hear how fast it bounces here. That's not the tires breaking loose, that was completely the clutch. So I kind of, I let off, grab third, try again, and as soon as it makes boost, it's just on the limiter again. So at that point I knew we were done uh, and let it coast down the track and could instantly smell a whole lot of clutch. So unfortunately our weekend was over after one pass, which sucks because the car felt really, really good on the top end. It ended up running 13.1 uh, with a horrible like 2.6 60 foot. So I think it actually would have had a pretty good time slip in it. Again, we, we knew the clutch was bad. We were out there just trying to have fun and uh, not be competitive by any means. Uh, but it felt really good to be drag racing again. That's something I haven't done since uh, probably not too long after high school. It really hasn't ever been my motorsport. And it's something I've never done in this car. I definitely missed it. And I think we're going to line the car up again once we get the clutch in. So we're on the last day of Super Northwest Nationals and today we're doing Dino and the car show. And it's hot as fuck. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So we went to the drag strip last night. Um, I only got one solid pass in on the car the entire night before the clutch just completely gave it up. Car's done, we're gonna just drive it home. Unfortunately, we can't dyno today either, just because I know it's just gonna slip the clutch on the rollers when we load it up. So that's a bummer, but at least it's, it drove fine here, and so we'll get it home and it won't be a big problem.
the car. green Oh, that's yeah. 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 Really good turnout this year if you consider COVID and all the craziness that's going on right now. It's just really, really cool that the event was even able to happen. I'd say we had about half the cars that usually turn out to the Pack Northwest meets and uh, even less than that spectators. But all in all, it was still just really, really fun. We got some amazing people in the Pack Northwest group and I know that a lot of us just really needed that time with people that feel like family uh, for mental health this year. It's been rough. <laughs> So how was your first Nationals in forever? It was fun. Met a lot of good people. So we probably put 1,200 miles on the car this weekend. Smoked a clutch. Didn't sleep much. No. At all. And now we got five more hours to drive home. Good Nationals. See everybody next year.